Hello everyone, this is Junaid here from Edureka and I welcome you all to this session in which I'm going to talk about how to get a job as a Python developer in 2021. So without any further delay, let's take a look at today's agenda. We'll start this session by understanding why should you learn Python. Following that, we shall discuss the skills that defines a good programmer. Finally, we'll end the session by having a look at the pipeline to become a Python developer. Before we begin, consider subscribing to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on training technologies. Also, if you're looking for online training certification in Python, check out the link given in the description box below. I'm sure the first question that is probably coming in your mind is, why should I specifically learn Python? Well, you see, the answer for this is quite simple. But before that, let's take a look at few factors that can justify our decision. First factor that I would consider is learnability. Do you think is it gonna be hard to learn Python? Well, absolutely no. You see, Python is the first language of choice in many universities, and even kids in schools are learning to program with Python. The Python is a language that was designed for easy programming with English-like syntax. Thus, it cuts low-level tasks and provides high-level abstraction for you to perform a high-level task. The next factor you can consider is increased productivity. After learning programming language, you obviously want to work on something, right? Like you want to build an application, web services, exciting game, or automate a repetitive task. Well, guess what? Python has got you covered with everything. It is one of the most productive language out there. This is why the Python is called general purpose programming language. Moving ahead, learning Python is the best investment you can make today. What I mean by this is, Python developers are easily paid highest in the domain of web development, machine learning, and data science. So as you see, right, there's a lot of demand for Python developers in IT industry. So you won't have a trouble finding jobs in the market. So coming back to a question, is it worth learning Python in 2021? Well, I leave that decision to you. Let me know what you think in the comment box below. Now that we know why learn Python, let's now see how we can say if someone is a good programmer or not. To be a good programmer requires more than just technical knowledge. What I'm trying to say here is, what's the use of a technical knowledge if you don't know where to implement it? Few of the skills a programmer should have are a good problem solving skills. You see, programming is all about taking real world issues and putting them in the form of a code, right? And speaking about code, anyone can write code, but writing a clean and efficient code is an art. The next type of skill that you'll be needing is a strong communication skills. You might be wondering, am I in a grammar class or what? Well, you see, if you're working in a team, you have to collaborate with your colleagues to understand the requirements and features that goes in it. This requires a good command of language. And also, the documentation of a program is a very important task for future-proofing the code. Moving ahead, you might have heard from many of the senior developers saying that once a programmer is forever a student. What they're trying to say is, with the advancement in the tech world, right, a new piece of technology or a library rolls out every six months. So one must be capable of learning new tools and libraries in a faster pace. Finally, I believe one of the most important skills that many people lack is not having enough knowledge on the internal working of concepts. This allows you to approach towards a problem in an efficient and an appropriate way. So how do you become a Python developer? Well, there are a couple of stages you might want to commit yourself to. In the stage one, cover the fundamentals. You see, it all starts with the basic, right? Understanding the terms and concepts that are related to programming is very crucial. So to start off, make sure you download Python on your machine and start learning the syntax, variables, and different types of data types of the Python programming language. Once you're done with that, get into decision making using if else condition and also the control flow. And then moving ahead, it's very important that you have the basic understanding of object oriented programming. You see, object oriented programming are beneficial when we are building large scale application. It helps us in writing clean code by reusing the unused components. Oops are beneficial when building large scale applications. It helps us in writing clean code by reusing the unused components. Moving on to the next step, make sure you choose the domain you want to work in. Well, we all know Python is a general purpose programming language, right? What this means is we have many applications to choose from in Python. Few of the best example of them are first off web development. Python is a good choice for rapid development of a web application. With many frameworks like Django, Flask, Pyramid, Python allows you to build web applications with a great speed. Now you might be wondering, how exactly is Python used here? You see, Python is used on a server side of the web development. 
What this means is you can use Python to interact with the database and build REST API services. Moving on to the next popular application that is data science. You see, in the early days, Python was mostly used for building applications and writing scripts to automate tasks. But now the whole trend of data science has uplifted Python even more. In data science, people are heavily dependent upon Python because of its advantages like simplicity, great community, and capability to compute huge calculations with ease. Few of the popular Python libraries for data science are Pandas, NumPy, Matplotlib, sklearn, and TensorFlow. Python is also used in automation. What I'm trying to say here is Python can make our life easier by automating many repetitive tasks like scraping a website to collect data or automating test case in software development areas. The framework that we use for automation are robot framework, PyTest, Selenium, and PyUnit. Finally, the next stage is to work on projects. Create a list of project ideas and build something from all the things you have learned. You can build a machine learning model and integrate it with the website by providing some form of service to the end user. All right, guys, with this, we come to the end of our session. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. If you have any further questions, please do mention them in the comment box below. Until next time, goodbye and take care. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!